What if that road that you're taking's a dead end? What if love leaves you all jaded and broken? What if that Hi, hello, I'm Dr. Alvarez. I'm here with uh, Melissa Lawson and uh, you've probably been uh, following her, uh, her updates uh, here on YouTube. Um, and uh, she's here uh, to visit and uh, we wanted to update you with uh, a really uh, short video and see how you were doing. Awesome. Good. So uh, how far out uh, from the surgery? Just over 10 weeks. 10 yeah. weeks out of surgery. Mm -hmm. How has it been uh, these 10 weeks? It's been great. It's a process for sure and a journey. Um, I've lost 40 pounds and um, there have been some plateaus in there that we've had to deal with. and which. Ultimately, it's just kind of, it's more of a mental battle than... Yes, of course, else, because you, know? you think it's going to stay at that point or something, but it, actually those plateaus are actually good. They're actually needed for your body to adjust to your new weight, and then it'll continue with uh, those yeah. new weight. And still, I mean, I've lost about almost three dress sizes, mm -hmm. so, and, and maybe four, depending. I probably shouldn't have been wearing the ones I was wearing to start with. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I should have been up a size. But um, so every two, if I'm not losing weight, I'm losing the inches. You exactly. know, kind of just exactly. does its own thing. Good, good, good. So it's you lose the weight or the inches or the sizes, and right. one or the other will keep coming down. Right. Good, good. Well, ten weeks, and you look amazing. And Thank you. A lot uh, <laughs> look different, and uh, uh, I bet you feel different too. Absolutely. Yes. I feel good, and you know I can get in the gym. Uh -huh. and good. And I'll, it's no big deal. Uh -huh. you know? Now, uh, compared to um, co compared to the the lap band you used to have, now with the sleeve, uh, have you noticed a uh, difference on uh, on the way things work? Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. But with the band, there were so many foods that I couldn't even consider eating mm -hmm. because if I would try to eat it, it would not go down. Mm -hmm. It just it was not going to go through that hole, mm -hmm. and so unfortunately, it would come back up. Um, kind of the nasty part of the band and that's that's only one of the many issues that I had but if I'm comparing it to the sleeve the food is really the main thing because now you know 10 weeks now I can eat any anything I want I find there are foods that I really don't want anymore that I had like I was love pasta I just really don't want pasta you know um, I uh, so it just dealing with the differences in, in food but I can have Whatever. I mean, I've tried probably almost anything, mm -hmm. and it's so far gone down just fine, and it's just a very small amount. Yes. Well, that's that's good to hear. I mean, you're eating practically anything you want 10 weeks out. Mm -hmm. um, you did have to go, of course, through a liquid diet phase to the, the, the right. sleeve and everything healed nicely the way we left it in the OR. Uh, but after this, and once it's healed, um, practically it's uh, just downhill from there. Just uh, start trying out food, start with some soft food, and uh, progress from mm -hmm. there on. Um, uh, do you um, do you uh, have any other issues, other uh, like with the band, or do you have any reflux? Any? Uh, any no, I mean I had a little bit of an acid reflux just the first few weeks, really. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, by the time the medication was out that you had sent home with me. Um, I went and got some Zegarin. I took that for mm -hmm. maybe another week, and mm -hmm. I've only had maybe two days, and that was really from what I ate. Mm -hmm. or, you know, didn't have anything really to do, I think, with the sleeve more than just that I ate something very acidic. Okay. Um, so that's that's all been fine. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Uh, a lot of people are concerned because of the, the heartburn, this and that, especially after having uh, previous band surgery. Now the band, I tell patients, the band is an obstructive procedure. Some call it a restrictive procedure. It's actually more of an obstruction there. That will give you some uh, hard trouble down the road. Now this is uh, works totally different. You don't have an obstruction. You're just uh, filling up your tiny new stomach. Right. And it gives you a better quality of life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for uh, uh, being back here uh, and coming in to see us. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our uh, YouTube videos for future updates so you can uh, follow Melissa's uh, journey. And uh, we hope to see you on uh, this year's uh, patient reunion. Yeah, y'all come join us.